Welcome friends once again to another new and exciting projector review. Today's model is from the Wimias line of projectors and this is their high-end model called the Wimias K7. Now this is a full-size projector designed for really large screens up to 500 inches with Wi-Fi and Bluetooth technology with one of the brightest lumens in the industry. So into this video, I'll put it to the test to see what this Wimias model can do and if the price suits your pocket. So don't go anywhere, you have that right after this. So the K7 has a native resolution of 1920 by 1080p. It has a brightness of 500 ANSI lumens. Its contrast ratio is 20,000 to 1. Its display technology is LCD and its light source is LED. It has auto self-adjusting aspect ratio of 4 to 3 and 16 to 9. It has a maximum viewing distance of 7 meters that produces a 300 inches display and a minimum viewing distance of 1.7 meters that produces a 50 inches display. It has auto 6D keystone correction and 4D 4P corner keystone correction. It has a dual band 2.4 plus 5 GHz Wi-Fi for mobile screen mirroring. It has Bluetooth 5.1 to connect to Bluetooth speakers and home theater systems. And it weighs 3.97 pounds or 2.2 kilograms. So in this purchase, you get the K7 model itself. One infrared remote control. One HDMI cable. One AC power cable. One auxiliary cable a lint-free cleaning cloth, an internal lens cleaning kit, a support card, a user manual, and a carrying case slash knapsack. So this model has an all-white design with a dimension of 10.63 inches wide by 9.45 inches long by 4.33 inches tall. To the front you have the Wimias logo, a front-facing IR sensor, and a 2 and 3 quarter inches projector lens surrounded by a chrome bezel with a lens cover. To its left, it has a focus adjustment wheel, a vertical keystone correction wheel, and its intake vent with a changeable dust filter. To its right is where you'll find its exhaust vent. To its rear, for input output peripherals, it has two HDMI inputs, two USB ports, one auxiliary port, a headphone jack, a rear facing IR sensor its AC power socket, and the grill for its internal speaker. At the top, it has manual control buttons. And to its base, it has a screw type kickstand and four anti-skid rubber feet that you can remove to gain access to its ceiling mount screw holes. So when you start up this projector, it starts with a Wimias splash screen, then you're taken to its main menu. I'm currently at 8 feet 2.4 meters from this projector screen and it's projecting a 70 inches display. So its main menu is simple and easy to navigate with its source inputs, media inputs and its screen mirroring option on the same screen. The settings area is divided into four sections, picture, sound, time and system options. On the picture is where you can adjust its picture mode. It's color temperature. The aspect ratio. You have zoom settings. Noise reduction. Your projection direction. It's four point correction. It's a digital keystone correction. Vertical and horizontal zoom settings. And a correction reset option. Under sound options, you can change the sound mode. You can adjust the balance. And you have a surround sound option. 
Under Time Settings is where you can set your Sleep Timer option. And under System Options, you can change the language. You have access to your Bluetooth settings. You can restore the factory default settings. And you have your software updates via USB. When playing videos directly via its USB ports, it can play videos in 1080p resolution only with no HDR. It cannot play 4K videos and downscale them to 1080p, and it cannot play any surround sound audio formats such as Dolby Atmos and DTS Audio. For displaying pictures in a loop which can come in very handy at weddings, family gatherings and even funeral services, you simply enter the photo area from the main menu and navigate to the folder containing your images, open a photo and press the OK button to access the playlist menu. Casting your mobile phone to this projector is fairly straightforward. You simply open the screen mirroring option, select your preferred method whether mirrorcast for Android, iOS cast for iPhones or DLNA. Then open your favorite screencasting app on your mobile device, scan for the projector's ID and pair your device to it. Please note, you don't need to be connected to Wi-Fi to cast your mobile device as this projector transmits its own Wi-Fi signal. For connecting official movie streaming devices such as the Amazon Fire TV Stick or the Google Chromecast, this projector does not have HDCP protection, so these devices will not work as they should when connected via HDMI. You may get video, but there will be no audio. To test its picture and sound quality, I connected an Android TV box to its HDMI port and I'll now play some 4K videos and have the projector downscale them to 1080p and we'll also listen to the quality of its internal speaker.
win for Barca would be enough because it would give them the same number of points as Atletico but the head-to-head -head goal difference is what counts in the case of a tie on points the mosaic of the Camp Nou and the Barcelona hymn being sung as referee Matteo Loff prizing presence on the bench as well Atletico playing in So its display quality is really good via HDMI, and I don't know if you heard it, but there was actually bass coming from its internal speaker. When applied to 3D gaming, this is what it looks like. This projector comes with Bluetooth 5.1 technology and it can only be used with Bluetooth speakers, headphones and audio receivers. It will not detect Bluetooth gamepads or remote controls. So to connect your Bluetooth speaker or receiver, you simply put your device in pairing mode. Then in the settings area, open the system options and enter the Bluetooth settings. If the Bluetooth feature is off, enable it and perform a scan to detect your device. Once detected, select your speaker or receiver to pair to it. So in summary, the selling point of this projector are its very bright lumens and large projection size up to 500 inches, the sound quality from its internal speaker, its easy to use interface with Wi-Fi and Bluetooth technology, its advanced digital keystone and corner keystone correction, and its stylish design with a chrome accent around the lens. And there are three things that can be a deal breaker, and these are its focus adjustment wheel. Though easy to use, it's not very sturdy and can be difficult to set at optimal focal position at times. The firmware does not have HDCP protection to play services such as Netflix with audio. And the third issue is that the firmware cannot play any surround sound audio formats such as Dolby Atmos and DTS audio internally from videos played through its USB ports. So viewers, there you have it. This was my review of the Wimias K7 HD 1080p projector. If you are interested in this full size model, you can get your hands on one for just $219 using the link in the description below this video with the $70 on page coupon. So see the link in the description. And if you are on a mobile phone, click the see more button to expand the description area. So thanks for watching, don't forget to give this video the thumbs up and as always the link in the description is my affiliate link and when you use it to view or purchase the product you support this channel directly which in turn provides the means for me to acquire new products for review. So thanks in advance for your support. Don't forget to like and subscribe, stay tuned and see you in the next one.